today's project diary I will be showing you an update on my dahlia cuttings. Hi and welcome to Project Diaries. Now hopefully by now you've seen my how to take cuttings from flowers video and you know that dahlias are slowly becoming one of my favourite flowers to grow this year due to some cuttings that I took a few weeks ago. So in today's video I'm just going to give you an update and show you how they're getting on within the shed. But if you'd like to see any of my other dahlia videos you can click this link on the screen now. But let's go in the shed and have a look and we'll see what's going on. So I haven't done a stage by stage with these because basically they just grow roots down and you won't see that much progression. Um, but as you can see, uh, this is six weeks later after me taking all of these cuttings. Now this is the first time I have done this so I wasn't sure how successful I was going to be. But every single one bar two have taken. Um, so six weeks in you can actually see that they're growing so many more leaves. Uh, all the root systems growing really well. and there's just too many for me to handle um, so as it's getting later on in the season it's now October um, so it's going to get cold so they, the, the growth will slow down um, but as you can see these ones have started to, to flower now we'll give you a close up on some of the problems that uh, I've been having so here's a closer look and as you can see a majority of them are really healthy but I'm not sure if you can tell there's a lot of white dust all over these leaves now if you're a long term dahlia grower or these are your first time, they are really prone to lots of pests. And as you can see here the flowers seem to really be struggling and the petals don't look as healthy as they should be. Now lots of people will actually say this white dust is from whitefly but it's actually from shed skin from aphids. Now the other common pests are blackfly, whitefly and greenfly but using my homemade insecticide will actually cure all of these pests in one go. But unfortunately due to Grandad and myself being ill over the past few weeks it's allowed these pests to completely take over. Um, but what I'm going to do is because it's going to get colder I'm going to let these grow as much as they can until they start dying back. Um, but if you can check here um, you need to check the root system to see if any of the, uh, the tubers are growing yet. Now six weeks is too soon for a tuber to start forming but I'm just going to dig into the soil just to show you. What you're looking for is a slight hard bulb that's starting to form at the base of the plant. So this one's too soon so I'm just going to bury that back in. But if I go over to some of the older ones that I've been growing from seed, you can actually see the tubers starting to form. Now this being early October, I can still leave these in the ground for at least another month to six weeks. This will hopefully allow the tuber to grow a little bit bigger and then I'll overwinter them and plant them again next spring. As these tubers aren't developing in really deep soil, you don't want to allow these to be affected by the frost or really cold weather. Unlike spring flowers, these bulbs will not be helped by stratification. And as these are pot grown, it's quite easy to overwinter these in a cool, dry place away from frost. I will be doing a future video on how to overwinter dahlia tubers, so don't forget to subscribe. And I'll also be doing an experiment with my larger tubers by burying them in the ground between 6 and 10 inches and leaving them there over winter. I'm not going to worry too much about these ones. Um, because the bulb's actually there, it can die back and I'll just protect that over the winter and I'll plant that um, in the spring and it'll, it'll come back and hopefully bloom throughout the summer. So, um, yeah, so hopefully this video has helped you do your own cuttings. Um, now you are guaranteed that um, they're not from seed, so they are from from the original um, plant and the flower. So the flowers that bloom from these cuttings are going to be exactly the same as the ones from the original flower. Um, you've basically just cloned uh, the original. Whereas if you grew it from seed, you're uh, not 100% sure on the colour, the size of the head. Um, the way it's going to grow. I am going to do another video on uh, growing from seed and the results I've had from that. Uh, I've had a great bloom this year from, from over the summer. But um, yeah, that's how you take cuttings. So hopefully you've enjoyed this. Uh, good luck if you try it at home. Don't forget to share anything on my Facebook group. Uh, the link's below in the description. Um, and good luck. Take care of yourself. And I'll see you again next time. If you'd like to keep up to date on all of my future releases, click the subscribe button here. Here are some links to some of my other videos. And if you tried this or any other project, I'd love to see your progress, so please join my Facebook gardening group where thousands of people are sharing photos and ideas daily. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time.